Okay, a new device from ableandrama.com, Note 2 chords with the scales plus velocity, changing velocity values, version 1.1. So uh, this is a device which is not only exciting for drummers, but for everyone who wants to play chords, uh, different chords on different root notes. So um, you have a switch on and off button here, and let's put in a C3, and you can see you will get a control flashing light if you um, play this row. So this is a vertical row, which is now um, reacting to C3. So what you get, you get um, uh, seven notes you could add to, so um, you could switch them on and then they will be uh, light. So this means they are activated. So if I switch on the plus one and the plus two here, I will now get a C3, an E3 and a G3. A nice C major chord. Okay, so I have um, a scale function here, so I could actually put in, let's say, a major scale, and you will see the notes here are changing. So it would be now a C major scale, C3, D3, E3, F3, and so on and so forth. So all this, uh, the eight notes um, are now um, preset he in here. If I now change the root note, uh, let's go up to D for example, you can see um, those notes are changing. Of course you can put in uh, every note you want to in here and if you set this to none um, the notes will stay the same even if I change the root note. So I have to activate a scale here um, to make those change as well. Okay, so um, let's put in a C major chord now. So I activate the third note and the fifth note of the scale. So C would be one, two, three, four, five. And maybe let's put in the octave as well. So now I get a C major chord with an octave C above. Very nice. Okay, so maybe now I want to um, have a different velocity, maybe um, because now it's using the input velocity I'm putting in. So we have a monitor down here and you can see um, I'm putting in a velocity of 80 and I can now change this velocity. So for example, I could have a fixed velocity here um, and put this up to 127 and let's put the value up here as well. So now I'm getting the C3 at 80 and the C4 at 80 as well because it's using the incoming velocity but the E and the G are now defined to a fixed velocity of 127 and it sounds like this. So even if I put the velocity value down, the, the input velocity now um, which is now 40, now it's 60. Those two notes um, are being played with a fixed velocity of 127. Okay, so I could do this different, let's change it to 80 again, input velocity. I could um, use the input velocity of the MIDI note I'm putting in and have a plus or minus uh, value here. So for example, um, I want the E to be a bit quieter than the C3, but following, so um, regarding the input velocity. So I could put in a minus 10 in here, or let's put in a minus 20. And let's do plus 20 for the G. So now this value or the velocity for this note will be the input velocity I'm playing minus 20 and for this it will be plus 20. So in this way I could have a lot of different notes having different chords. Um, let's put it this way for example and let's add another one on E maybe put in a minor harmonic for example and with different velocity values. So this would sound like this, playing a C, D, E. And of course I can change those notes just individually and maybe have them all as 
uh, this is a minor chord already, but have them now all as minor chords. Uh, that's quite nice. That's even uh, lower now. So let's put a minor chord. Ah, and back here again. Okay. Have the same note, for example, as well. Or have a major chord in here. Okay, so I could uh, have more uh, devices of those in a row. And for this, um, I can decide if I want the non-selected notes, so the notes which are non-selected in here, if I want them to go through, so if they should be received after the device or not. So, for example, if I play a, s a G now, you can see I'm playing a G in the monitor, a G3, but because it's not selected in here, the note doesn't go through. So if I now switch on the through function, the G goes through. And I could have another device after this device, which will receive the G3 and put in something else. Okay, I hope this helps. Um, if you need any help uh, with Max for Life devices or Ableton drumming related stuff, get in touch and um, stay tuned.